Flaring out with Eric Flair Show at the sixth annual Johnny Ramone Tribute. Here with Tarina Tarantino, fashion designer and makeup entrepreneur. How are you doing? Great. Now, now, Trina, what is your connection with the Ramones? Well, besides being a huge longtime fan, is you know that I'm friendly with Linda. Unfortunately, I never got a chance to meet Johnny, but I just think that this event is so cool and so unique, and I'm so thrilled that she does this every year because there are die-hard Johnny Ramone fans that just relish in coming to something like this, like myself. Now, Tarina, tell me about your first encounter with the sound of the Ramones and how it changed your life. Oh, gosh, I was very young, <laughs> many years ago. And just to say, I remember when I first heard the Ramones, my parents, fortunately, awesome parents that brought me up with great rock and roll music. So Ramones were always on heavy rotation in my house. And it just, for me, was just like such a raw, pure sound that has always stayed with me. You know, I have my favorites, Sheena, one of my favorites, but you know, just, just such, a, such an incredible band and what they did and the way they were so groundbreaking and pioneering but in my opinion, never quite got the credit they deserved, which happens mo very often with these artists that, you know, these pioneer artists in music and art and film, everything. How did you get into fashion designing and become such a success at it? Well, I, um, I got into design because I love fashion. Uh, my first career is I was a model. And then I was a makeup artist, and the whole time I've always designed jewelry, accessories, handbags, things like that. And I launched my brand 15 years ago, and now I have my company. I've, I produce everything here in downtown Los Angeles. It's all made in the USA, which is really cool. And I, am, I have stores in New York, LA, and Milan, Italy, and I sell to stores all over the world. So it's just a brand that started in my living room with my husband, and we've grown it over all these years. And here we are today. And we're looking forward to doing a project with uh, Linda for the Johnny Ramone Army label. That's amazing. Now, what, what inspires some of your jewelry? Everything that I love, from art, to music to just everyday life. I mean, music is a huge part for me. Whenever I'm doing collections, I'm always putting together playlists and listening to music that I think will inspire it. So it'll be really fun when we do the Ramones line because the Johnny Ramone line because we will be listening to a lot of Ramones music. Now you have your own makeup line through Sephora. Tell me about the birth of that and, and what was your vision for it? Well, like I said before, my second career was a makeup artist, and when uh, my business as a designer took off, I kind of had to give that up because my, my brand took off, and I've never forgotten about how much I love makeup and always wanted to do my own lines. So I've been developing it all these years, and I got approached by Sephora to carry it exclusively, which is very cool, and we launched it in, uh, let me see, spring of this year, and now it's just, you know, it's doing fantastic. I've been traveling all over the U.S. promoting it and it's very exciting to have your own line of makeup is the coolest thing ever I'm wearing it all right now I know it's awesome <laughs> thank you how, now how do you feel that your makeup line is unique compared to Mac and even Sephora's line or Bobby Brown well Bobby Brown's a little more natural you your, know your makeup I'm yeah. impressed okay. very good Thanks. Um, well, my line is really makeup as accessories. My approach is it's, it's inspired by everything in my sparkling world, everything around me, and I really took the approach that that you are you when you put makeup on your face, it's like when you put accessories on every day, and that you can change it up, you can have fun with it, you can play with it, and that really is the spirit of my collection. Especially and also incredible formulations and beautiful packaging, which is very important. And lots of pigment. Uh, Highly pigmented, very, wow, very good. Yeah. Now let me ask you a question. Like, like my hair, very pigmented. Yeah, I, you know what, I have a thing for girls with pink hair, so. Okay. I love it. There aren't that many of us, but. Well, there's Audrey Kitching, she still has pink hair. I know Audrey, yes, yeah. yes. So um, there's her and there's a few other pinup girls that have pink hair, but it's there's something about it, it's just awesome. But 12 years of pink hair, right here. Well, are you, what, are you saying like I'm over it? No, I'm saying I'm the original. Okay, you're the OG, <laughs> you're the OG gangster. Pink hair girl. That's, that, that would be me. Yes. Now tell me, do you create? Do you have a shadow base that that is in your makeup line? Do I have a what? A shadow base that is in your makeup line. Eyeshadow? Oh yeah. Like a, shadow base, like a, like primer? a primer? Yes, I do. Actually, I'm launching it. I'm launching it in the spring. I just formulated. It. I'm launching it. Two primers. Tell me about them. What? What? How? What is unique about them? Well, a lot of primers are too oily. And 
and they set, or they set up too quickly. So mine is, wow, this is a fantastic qu line of questions, I love it. My primer is, I have two, I have a doll skin primer, which is more matte, and then I have one that's a glow primer that's gonna make your eyeshadow pop more and make the color come out more. Really? But both of them make your eyeshadow stay on all day and make you use less eyeshadow, which is important. Can you still blend over your primers? Oh yes, absolutely, and I have a cream shadow. That's why I created a cream shadow, because I couldn't, all the cream shadows on the market dry too quickly, and I wanted one that you could work with long enough to get your eye look done before it sets up. So I have a lot of products like that because I had the same problem with many other lines that it just if it sets up too quickly you can't create the eye look you want to make. And I used to work for Mac by the way. Really? <laughs> what, what, which Mac did you work for? I worked, I worked at the Beverly Center. Okay, yeah. I, I, I bet I saw you back in the Years day. Years ago. Yeah. 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 Now um, I worked at Mac at Nordstrom's in, fa in South Coast Plaza. And you know John Stapleton then? I do. Yes. I, we're not like bro bros, but we're like, hey, I'll see him and he'll be all, hey, how you doing? He's amazing. He is. He's a great guy. Incredible, incredible. He's yeah. one of their top artists and he's fantastic. He's a, he's, kind, he's a kind person also. You don't meet one, a lot of kind. I'm one of my best friends. Cool. Nice. <laughs> I didn't Dude. Know I was talking to an, a makeup artist. That's yeah, so cool. Yeah, that's one of the things I do. Wow. I'm, I'm a Renaissance man, but I would love to maybe add some of your makeup to my kit it, if you could endorse me. You know I will. Yeah? Oh, yeah. So what else do you have in the works? Wow, we have a lot going on. Um, I just got back from Philadelphia doing QVC with the makeup line, oh, which boy. was pretty incredible, which was really amazing, an amazing experience, and um, just, just a lot of fun. And we are, I have a huge project in the works that I can't talk about yet, but I'll, we'll be announcing it in about a month. Um, other than that, I'm just working on expanding my uh, my cosmetic line, my jewelry collections, and um, hopefully going into some other categories later this year. Cool. What are you, now? Tell me about Lifestyle. these these <laughs> colors that you're wearing on your eyes right now. Uh, what am I wearing? Oh, because I I think oh, yeah. I tweeted earlier today that I love an event where I can do a great smoky eye and wear lots of black eyeliner. So I have my Tommy Jet eyeliner on and my butterfly black eyeshadow with my Sparklicity shimmer dust on top and my Fleur de Lash mascara in black opal and my Ruby headphones lip gloss. Bad ass, sister. I'm yes. I, I know. I love it. It's just like the lights hitting your makeup and it's just all beep, 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 beep. I love it. That's called sparklicity. Blaring out with Eric Blair with Tarina Tarantino at the sixth annual Johnny Ramone tribute. The Blaring Out Show.